Hey guys, you've been asking for this and now I'm going to show you how I made the custom acrylic diffuser for my keyboard. This is the acrylic sheet that I used and I'll link to it below. I bought the clear one but I recommend you get the frosted one because I had to sand mine to properly diffuse the LED lights. Then I went to get longer M2 screws. I used the 10 millimeter ones which you can see here and you can see the size comparison between them and the original screws here. And here are the laptop feet that I had used for the bottom. So this is the acrylic sheet that I'm going to be using to trace the guide. And as you can see here, I put masking tape around the edge of the keyboard and this is so that when I do trace the guide, no ink or scratches get on the aluminum casing. You can use a straight edge as a guide while you cut and I highly recommend making at least a dozen passes through the acrylic so that you can pop off any edges you're not using. Just make sure you press firmly when you make your cuts. You want to make a groove in the plexiglass. Or you can use a Dremel tool if you have it for an easier cut. I also have here all the sandpaper sheets I used. You want to start with the lowest grit and work your way up. And if you have a nail file, I found that it was useful to file down the corners. To mark the holes for the screws, I placed the keyboard back on the acrylic with the bottom panel of the casing underneath, gently removed the keyboard and used the holes in the bottom as a guide. To cut the holes, use a drill bit like I have here, or alternatively, you can use the Dremel tool with the drill bit attached. I hope this guide's been helpful for those of you who have been considering making a custom diffuser, so just go buy one off of the Autobau website. That's right, you heard me. You can just buy one off of their website now. So here's what happens. I heard about the second version of ID80, so I went on their website the other day to check out how the keyboard looks. And I was thinking, oh, that's nice, but it's too expensive, and their group buy had ended anyway. So I checked to see what else they have, and they actually came out with their own acrylic diffuser. I was a little salty about it, but I take comfort in knowing that I did it first. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay, bye!